uh, one of the newest stars in the literary world. Delightfully quirky and offbeat author. I've read her stories in the New Yorker and in Vanity Fair. Her book, Slaves of New York. And the author of Slaves of New York. Author Tama Janowitz captured the New York City, the friends at 1980s. Ms. Janowitz was the recipient of two awards from the National Endowment for the Arts. It's a pleasure to welcome back to this program author Tama Janowitz. Tama is a world famous author, but what she's always wanted to do is introduce an MTV world premiere video. Hi, I'm Tama Janowitz. This is 120 Minutes on MTV. I am reading a book right now, Slaves of New York. It's, it's pretty dark. He wanted her to be like a real empowered, like the new Tama Janowitz. Okay, here's the clue. Tama Janowitz and other 1980s writers shared this nickname with a group of young 1980s actors. What is the Brat Pack? That's it. Is this who's coming tonight? He's that photographer. She directed that movie. He's dating Madonna. And you, you're on the list. Can I take this one and frame it? <laughs> the real celebrities here tonight are the writers. Jay McInerney, who read Bright Lit's Big City, right? Who didn't? And Tama Janowitz, Fred Easton Ellis is only 21. All the best writers do it when they're young. So they have something fresh to say. Fresh is yummy. Old is, well, old. This company will not make shit anymore. We're also going to double down on the advertising budget. Shia Day will be the only advertising agency we use, just like back in the old days. We're going to make Apple cool again. You know what? Just have a seat. If I ever see you kiss Tam and Jamma with again, <laughs> it'll be the last uh, time no, I come. I enjoyed it. I well, enjoyed you know what? It. I didn't. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm we... insulted. Stop it. There was nothing no, wrong with her. No, there was something between the two of you that I, I have forged territory with you, David. And you're all over her like cheap perfume, and then you took her gum. <laughs> Hello, this is George Clifton. You still in town, punk? If so, Tama Janowitz is going to get barbaric on your ass. <gasps> got ourselves a real city boy here, all the way from New York City. <laughs> right, JP. I just got one question for you, son. When's Tama Janowitz's new book coming out? I'm going to read that sucker. Huh? You heard the man, Tama Janowitz. She sure writes pretty. Look, I don't know, but I've discovered recently, and I'm like stupidly in love with her, so I just have to talk about her. The first book I'll talk about is one that's the most kind of famous one that she's written which is slaves of new york this is kind of like a to read for definite for me it's like it's like part of like the brat pack canon what i think tama janowitz is really stands out for is her writing her writing is magnificent her writing is so unique um and it's so suited to the era and so suited to the setting of new york the last story in this was my favorite one like the last one went out with a bang man schiavi di new york di tama Janowitz. C'est Tamar Janowitz, donc Slaves of New York. Satirique et drôle. Voilà. Acide. So today when I was went to Goodwill, I was hoping it would still be there so I could buy it. And I didn't know anything about who Jama Jar Jarowitz was. Tama Janowitz è una scrittrice appartenente al Brett Pack. The second half that I got through was so kind of beautiful and touching and I fell in love with everything about it. I'm trying to bring more literary merit to these novels that no one talks about from the 1980s and I think Tama really really deserves a lot more attention for what she kind of brought to the era and what she's brought to that literary scene. She's brought a lot to it. She's written a lot of novels and she has a new memoir out this, this year. to be fun, frothy, lighthearted satire, social anthropology. I'm Tama Janowitz. A mean Tama Janowitz. Oh, God. I'm mean? You're like a mean Tama Janowitz. I'm cooling in New York. I'm chilling in New York. The hoods is on my block and the brothers at the court. The baseball hats is on and the projects is calm. Dream time's extended and highly recommended. Happy. Come on out. Mikayoshi. He's gorgeous. He's humble. He's heterosexual. He's 
He's in television. I can't. I'm frightened. I'm the type of guest who likes to lurk in the bathroom. You're the only other woman here besides me. What happened to the others? I didn't invite them. Did you do the lousy little jobs first before you became successful as a writer? Well, well, no. I just, I just lived at the poverty level. <laughs> and, uh, and somehow I was very fortunate because each time I thought I might have to go out and get a nine-to-five job, I would win a grant for my stories or I'd publish them in The New Yorker, so I just kept going marginally. But then this book just took off, so it's been extremely exciting. Exactly. How has your life changed now that you're on the best zone? I must say, it didn't really change. And, and New York, you know, it's a, it's a tough city, and and... I guess it didn't really change very much. <laughs>